Cabal. Ranked and casual combos, tips and tricks. What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing you another video. And today we're going to be talking about Cabal. Cabal was not playable in Mortal Kombat X, but he makes his return in 11. Compared to Mortal Kombat 9 where he was a god, in this Mortal Kombat he is very well rounded and a solid character overall. Both of his rank variations are viable and can do decent damage, but in casual play, I think he's an absolute beast. In casual play he has access to other special moves to extend combos and do crazy damage. But before we get into that, let's break down his rank variations, his base moves and overall playstyle you should be going for. I think Cabal can be played anywhere on the screen. He has long reaching normal moves and combo starters that are great for whip punishing. Once you get your enemies in the corner, you can actually take advantage of his various mix ups. Conditioning your opponent to block overheads and then using his low grab special attack can be really frustrating and dominate your opponent. While you may not get big combos off of his mix ups, he does rack up some serious damage and pressure to take control. And it also helps that all of his combo strings, yes, every single one of his combo strings is safe on block. That combined with his down one jab hook being 7 frames makes him a scary person to try and hit a button against. So let's get into Cabal's rank variations and figure out how he works. Let's start with Cabal's normal moves. His button data is pretty good. He actually has a standing and crouching one that is actually 7 frames. All of his pokes are pretty quick, most of them reach pretty far making him annoying to deal with when trying to counter him after a string. Even though standing one is a high, it can lead into one of his combo strings in 1-1-1. One, one, one. Both of these being 7 frames are actually really good options for Cabal. Standing 2 is 9 frames and it is also a high, but it can lead to some high damage and combos when used for punishing unsafe moves. Forward 4 is a 9 frame mid which can follow up into an overhead which we will show later. Down 4 is an 11 frame poke which has pretty good range. You would use this if your opponent does a block string that pushes you some distance away from them. Usually they think they're safe due to their distance but you may catch them off guard in a counter hit. Back 4 is a sweep which has just about if not a little bit more range than down 4. Once you get your opponent scared of the overheads, back 4 and down 4 is a pretty good move in the corner that you can hit them with and then follow up pressure. Down 3 doesn't have much range but it's a quick 9 frame hitting low attack to poke opponents with. 4-3 which is heal strike has 25 frames to start up but is a deceptively far reaching mid attack. You can use this to special cancel or in combos to do more damage and extend hits. It is also plus on block. Be sure to use this to close a gap on your opponent and never use it up close. Now onto his combo strings. Cabal has one of the easiest combo strings with standing 1. It's just 1-1-1 one, 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 and it's a 7 frame startup. The best part about this is that it's special cancelable into all of his special moves. You can use this to punish opponents who use unsafe moves since it is 7 frames. And it provides solid damage. Look right there, it's just 2 moves with no meter and we do almost 20% damage. Next is Cabal's whip punishing string which has amazing range and combos into an overhead. Back 1-2 has 15 frames to start up so you don't want to use it to punish your opponents. The main use is a mid screen whip punishing tool to punish your opponent who's throwing out a mid space attack. You can special cancel this into Nomad Dash for some good damage. That's just a basic string but at least a 22% damage without the use of any meter. This next string 2-2 has 20 frames of hit advantage. This puts your opponent into a stagger state. While they're staggering you can actually use back 1-2 which has an overhead to catch them off guard and lead them back into a combo or use low grab to mix them back up. You can also continue to mix them up further by not going into the overhead part of the combo but going from back 1 straight into low grab. This is a very good option especially when they are conditioned to block the overhead. They're just not going to expect that low grab. Just to show you an example, this is how you would use this. Nomad Dash after the back 1-2 keeps them on the ground making 2-2 stagger and keeps them standing. This can be beaten once they stand block the overhead but if they expect it you can actually hit them with the low grab. But doing the low grab actually ends the sequence since it pushes them far away. Cabal's next string 2-3 is a punish string that starts with a high at 9 frames. This move also scales very well leading to big damage when used to start combos. 1-1-1 is 2 frames faster but 2-3 can make the difference when closing out a round or winning the match. But even at 9 frames 2-3 can still punish a lot and is Cabal's safest string on block at minus 1. This means if you land 2-3 and they block it then your down 1 7 frame poke can actually hit them. But only if they try to use any string that's either 8 frames or more. Use 2-3 to punish really unsafe moves like Sub-Zero Slide and Noob Sidebot's Teleport. These are just some really unsafe examples but I promise you there are a lot of moves out there that are more than minus 10 on block. Meaning you can punish with 2-3 from Cabal since again it is a 9 frame move. 4-2-2 and 4-2-2-4 are some of my favorite Cabal strings. I mainly use it in the corner because it can end in an overhead and has a crushing blow. It can condition your opponents to stand block to avoid the overhead and then you can mix them up by going for low grab instead of the overhead. People get really frustrated by this and eventually try to hit buttons to get out of it which ends up with them losing and taking some taking a lot of damage. Cabal doesn't have any low hitting combo strings so this is pretty much what we have to work with but it's still kind of fun. I don't recommend going for this all the time in the corner but it is a good option when you know they don't perform well under pressure. Just keep on mixing them up and watch out for any wake up attacks. 
forward 4 is a 9 frame mid attack. If you press grab or 1 and 3 after the forward 4, Cabal will hit them overhead and sends them full screen. You can use this to end combos and mix your opponents up when they are expecting either the overhead or low grab. Now let's talk about Cabal's special moves. Back forward 1 is his normal projectile which can be ducked because it is a high attack. It can be amplified but it does not do bonus damage and it does not hit mid. Instead it holds your opponent in place to do a combo string on them. Personally getting the timing down for this was tough on mid screen combos so I mainly like using it in the corner instead. Also just like I did in that video you would never use it to start a combo off in the first place because it can be ducked and it is unsafe. Here is how I like to use it in the corner. Once you hit confirm your opponent, you can go into Buzzsaw Amplified and because it knocks your opponent in the air, you want to land Cabal's down one punch. His down one has good juggling properties and can be chained into multiple as well. However, I use just one in this combo because multiple down ones make his combo ender hook slam not reach opponents. In the air, he can actually throw Buzzsaws diagonally, but they don't hit overhead, they actually do the same damage as a normal grounded one. If you amplify it, you don't get more damage either, instead Cabal returns to the ground quicker to be able to combo your opponent. Here's an example of how you can use this in a combo. It's not the most practical, but it's something that gets pretty good damage with the use of one bar. Next up is actually back forward 2 which is Cabal's low grab. This is mainly used to end his combos and it's Cabal's only source of mix up potential. In the corner, I actually like to use forward 2 2 4 to get them to block overhead and then once they start doing that, I can mix them up by ending forward 2 2 with the low grab instead. With Cabal, you're not always going to get big damaging long combos so you want to try to get these damaging strings as much as possible. In this variation, Cabal has Nomad Spin which is actually a combo ender. Normally it's a 3 hitting high move but if you amplify it, you get more hits, more damage and the last 3 hits are mids instead of highs. Amplifying it makes it safe as well and I'm not going to lie, I'm not a big fan of this move. But this is how you'd use it in a normal combo string, it's just, it's not that good. Next is Cabal's most important special move, Nomad Dash. This stuns the opponent to let Cabal continue a combo after. Similar to Katana's fan lift, Sub-Zero's Ice Ball, etc, you get the idea. We've been using this the whole video so far, so you need to know this move by now. Jumping kicks can actually lead to Nomad Dash for some sick combo conversions. It's also a pretty unsafe option, so be careful when using this and never do it raw or commit unless you know it's going to hit. Extended Hook is a great re-standing special move which you can use to end combos and continue to pressure your opponent. If your opponent's in the air or being juggled, Extended Hook actually re-stands them which is a great, great move. It's only plus 2 on hit advantage so you don't get a whole lot of options out of this, but you can still whiff punish them trying to hit you after this. It's also not a bad move to end your block strings with it because it pushes your opponent back pretty far from Cabal, and not a lot of moves of theirs can hit you from that range. But to remember, Extended Hook is a high attack so if your opponent's duck it, you can get punished big time for it. Also, in the corner, it pushes Cabal back away from the opponent. Here's a situational example of how you can use Extended Hook. Once your opponent is conditioned to block overhead attacks by stand blocking, after the re-stand from the Extended Hook, if you do a raw low hook grab, it will crush and blow them if they are stand blocking. Again, it's a risky option to go for, but you can get some crazy big damage from this. This setup takes up more than half of your opponent's life away. The last special move we're going to talk about is Hook Slam. This move is a great combo ender and side switching tool for Cabal. Amplifying it does about 4.5 more damage. This is a great combo ender and keeps opponents in range of Cabal to keep harassing them after. And its crushing blow actually activates on a punish or counter hit that pops opponents up and now you can extend combos off of it. Here are just some examples where this can be used to rack up some serious damage. It's a little tricky to land 2-3 after the pop up but what I do is dash forward immediately then do 2-3. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take a few tries to get the timing down, but I recommend you guys learn this. Hook Slime has some really good range, so you can get this crushing blow off often in games where your opponent is whiffing moves or misfacing their attacks. I kinda wish Cabal had more crushing blows from combo hits rather than punishes or counters, but that may be because he already has a lot of damage and he'd probably be too broken if he was able to anyways. Now we're gonna be going through Cabal's exclusive crushing blows. As I said before, most of them are coming from counter hits or punishes. His range on his combo starters are pretty good, so there's gonna be a lot of opportunities to land these. The first one is a pop-up, but it's tricky to land the combo hit off of it. All I can say is I spam one quickly as possible in order to catch them. As soon as the second punch hits, I cancel into Nomad Dash and go into a combo. It's very tricky to land, but sometimes it's easier to do in the corner. Forward 224 Crushing Blows if it's a counter or punish. Very good for locking down your opponents, but it does not pop up. I feel like this doesn't do as much damage as it should. Sub-Zero has a similar one, but his almost does like 30% if I'm not mistaken. Buzzsaw Amplify Crushing Blows if it's a counter hit or punish. It does a lot of damage and holds your opponent in place to continue to combo them after. I honestly rarely get this one in a match, but let me know if you guys have any setup uses for this one. Low Hook Grab only Crushing Blows if you use it raw outside of a combo or block string and your opponent is stand blocking. This one's a bit risky to land, but if you condition your opponent to block overhead after being knocked down over and over again, then you can get this one pretty easily. But if they block this attack, it's very unsafe and you can expect to get full combo punished for it. 
This is a setup I showed you guys a little bit earlier in the video. If you condition them to keep blocking overhead, then you can go for the low hook grab after the extended hook. This setup does massive, massive damage. Hook slam crushing blows off of a counter hit or punish, and pops opponents up for big damage and combos. I like to dash forward after this to do 2-3 for maximum damage, but you can do whatever string you feel comfortable with. Cabal's Fatal Blow is really, really good. It goes behind your opponent, and if they block it, it pushes them back a decent distance away, making punishing it very hard. This Fatal Blow is one of the best in the game because you can catch your opponents off guard easily with it. To close out matches, if your opponent keeps jumping or tries to outzone you, they can get hit with this pretty easily. Here's just a few examples of me using it in matches, and it's very frustrating to deal with, I can't lie. And I just noticed I got all of these on Scorpion players. Here are some Fatal Blow combos that you can get with Cabal in a match. Now for insane and crazy damage, here are some Fatal Blow combos you can get off of Hook Slams, Crushing Blows into a Fatal Blow. This is just nuts, it's an absolute game changing combo string that you should learn as a Cabal player. This is a Fatal Blow combo from his back 1-2 down to Crushing Blow. It doesn't do as much damage as the other one but still is a good option. It is a bit tricky to land though because of the tight window after the pop up. You're going to want to practice this. So now that we've covered most of Cabal and Clean Cuts tournament variation, let's talk about the Mean Streak variation. Mean Streak at its core is more focused on zoning, faking out, and setting up your opponents. You lose out on a lot of special moves which help Cabal get some pretty good damage. In this variation however, he has Rolling Buzzsaw which is a low projectile, and if you amplify it, it hits low twice. However, this does not combo with certain strings due to its long startup. Also you could be poked out of its animation so it's not that safe to do all the time. Rolling Buzzsaw will only combo into Cabal's long hit advantage string, so use this at your own risk. I already missed low hook grab. In this variation, his Buzzsaw in the air can actually travel horizontally full screen. If you amplify it, it returns Cabal to the ground fast for him to do more combos. However, in the corner, you actually don't even need to amplify it at all. Here's a good example of not amplifying this move, but it still combos and juggles into Cabal's down one poke. It's a really good option to know, but I don't think I'll see many players utilizing this too often per game. Also, if you land an air buzzsaw on an aerial opponent, you can actually combo into Nomad Dash from full screen. The main thing about this variation is canceling Nomad Dash. This is used to fake opponents out and get free damage via grabs or mix-ups when they are stuck blocking. Normally, if your opponent blocks Nomad Dash, they can punish you very easily. But if you cancel it and they are stuck blocking and waiting for you to hit them, you can get free grabs. Also, eventually when they expect you to Nomad Dash cancel and try to hit you an attack, you can just not cancel it and get a full combo punish off of a counter hit. And that's all I got for Mean Streak, guys. Just a general breakdown. If you want to see an amazing example of a Mean Streak Cabal player, go to Ranked and check out the leaderboards for Love Thoughts on PS4. He is the number one ranked Cabal player and he uses Mean Streak. Check out his match replay so you can get an idea how he utilizes this kit to his full advantage. The fact that he is the best Cabal player and is using Mean Streak says a lot. So we've covered Cabal's two tournament variations, now let's get into his best custom moves. In casual playlists, Cabal is an absolute beast because you can equip Hook Grab. This is in my opinion Cabal's best move because it's a great combo extender. Now Cabal has access to crazy damaging combos consistently in the 30% range off of 1 meter. Hook Grab only combos your opponent if they're being juggled in the air. It causes a side switch, but if you amplify it, you can get a bounce up and be able to juggle your opponent doing way more damage now. If you do a string that keeps your opponent grounded and then go into Nomad Dash, the next grounded string will not link to Hook Grab since they are on the ground still. 2-3 is the best string to use in combos with Hook Grab. Aside from its amazing damage, it raises your opponent in the air for it to link properly. 1-1-1 into Nomad Dash registers the opponent as airborne, so your next string will combo into Hook Grab easily since they're going to be in the juggle state. Of course you can start your combos with 2-3 into hook wrap and then do another 2-3 for max damage but you won't always get that opportunity since it is a high and can be ducked. But 35% damage is pretty crazy. Ending your combos with extended hook for the restand can lead to some crazy high damage scenarios. Now especially if you get that low grab right after for that crushing blow. You want to get into your opponent's head and keep making the block however you want. Condition them to focus blocking overhead. If the match just started and Devora already has almost 30% health left. It's insane. This right here is your ideal go-to combo because of the overhead mix-up. 32% damage off of one bar is pretty crazy. 
Hook Grab can also be used as an anti-air on jumping in opponents and lead to full entire combos. It's a bit risky if you mistime it, but it's a good option to know of. You can use Hook Grab twice in one combo if you want to keep your opponent on a certain side. It's very good for keeping them in the corner, however you can't meter burn it twice, because that would be pretty broken. Using Cabal's Jump 2 Air Punch to start combos leads to some more damage. This is the very same restand combo, but now it does almost 39% because of the Jump and Punch. These are the same corner combos that you can do with Cabal. You don't have to spend both meters in this combo if you want to keep them in the corner for more pressure. And that wraps it up for Cabal. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. I think he's way more fun in casual mode thanks to Hook Grab for combo extensions, but his ranked variations are not that bad. This guy took me a little bit longer because I wanted to be as detailed as I could with his playstyle. Cabal can get some serious damage going, but some of his high damage and combos, especially from crushing blows, are a bit tricky to land. But keep practicing and you're gonna dominate. Soon I'm gonna start uploading online match videos and of course friendly match sets with my friend John. He has a pretty sick scorpion and he's gonna be showing me a lot of tips for my next video. Let me know if you have any other tips for Cabal that I may have missed. I would love to hear some feedback from you guys and continue to helping us all get better. Which moves do you prefer to have on Cabal? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be working on Scorpion next so you won't want to miss that. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.